I brought a Civil War saddle, a bayonet, a book from the Civil War era, and a picture of the soldier who the items belonged to. Um, I brought them over to the Civil War round table show and tell that they had earlier this year. And the people that I figured would be really interested in Civil War stuff were really interested. And they said the saddle was in the best condition of one they had seen. The, I don't know what you call the thing that goes under the horse's belly that's uh, woven. It's still in very good shape. And um, I think it was the Civil War thing that they actually had there because I thought it would be Civil War things. And they actually brought things from you know, like a house star that holds a house together, mm -hmm. and uh, things that really weren't Civil Warish. Actually, I'm from Northumberland, <laughs> oh, okay. well. and um, I just joined the. Well, I've been in the Historical Society for a long time, and I just joined the board. Well, they asked me to serve on the board, and different people have said, "Well, because Northumberland County is so long, they most of the time they only relate things to Sunbury, and so." I wanted to try and bring things in from Northumberland that were more Northumberland. So actually in May I'm going to speak at the Historical Society on the island farm and one packer died in 1919 and the 15 other farms he owned up and down the Susquehannas had to be sold. So uh, the island is, you know, kind of Sunbury but not Sunbury. Yeah, yeah. At one time, Northumberland had more people than Sunbury because of the canals. And the first bank was in Sunbury, one of the first banks in Pennsylvania.